It comes as no surprise Ford is raising prices on its F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck. Most people likely saw this coming, as the automaker is not only following suit with its rivals, but also with pricing on most items across the globe. However, people may expect that if they already placed an order and put down a deposit, they will get the pricing they were promised. Editors update. Ford Canada reached out to us to explain the situation, and its policy makes sense. It also proves that this problem was caused by the individual dealer, rather than Ford Corporate. Ford Canada's response reads as follows. Ford of Canada is honoring pricing for all confirmed 2022 model year F-150 Lightning orders. A confirmed order is one that is contained within the dealer's 2022 model year allocation. Each dealer was allocated a specific number of 2022 Lightnings. In isolated cases, dealers accepted deposits for non-allocated vehicles. These non-allocated vehicles are not covered by price protection. Customers should contact their dealer to determine eligibility for price protection. Those who do not qualify can discuss ordering a future model year vehicle, or have their deposit reimbursed. When Rivian decided to raise its prices, reservation holders were upset. The automaker walked back its decision to make people with pre-orders pay the new prices, honoring the price they were originally promised. Sadly, while legacy automakers can try to motivate dealers in some ways, the automakers don't really have control over dealer markups. In August, the couple learned that Ford had reopened the order books and increased its prices for the 2023 model year. The couple couldn't swing another $10, 700 in addition to the already pricey $102, oh oh oh, so they had to cancel the order. Fortunately, they got their $2, 500 deposit refunded. We're not sure what steps the couple has taken to get this resolved, so we're hoping to learn more. Global News published an article about the situation and reportedly reached out to Ford Canada, but haven't yet heard back. We've also reached out to Ford for comment. If we receive a response, we'll update this article. In the meantime, share your thoughts on the subject in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Credits to InsideEVS.com. Please like my video and subscribe EVpedia for more electronic vehicle news and updates.